next item we're going to look at is how you can actually toggle between different viewports. On the screenshot behind me, you can see that we've got this black outline on the top left hand view. So inside draft site, if you've got multiple views of the part, so you may have an isometric view, top, front, back, right, left, however many that you want, you can actually split the viewport in the drawing pane. So you've probably heard people talking about model space and paper space, so almost the paper space is where you're printing from, if you like, and that will be set to your drawing border. So let's take a look at this and see how this works. If we go to this layout tab, you'll notice by default it just puts in a single layout. So if I just delete that, we haven't got any in there at all. So to bring the viewports up, you can find this from the, the manual drop-down options, but I'm quite a big fan of using the text strings. So if you type in viewport, in fact, if I've got the right one, let's make sure I've got the right text. Oh, sorry, I'm, I'm actually still active at the moment in the background, so let's try that one more time. There we go. <laughs> sorry, I actually had the icon, the cursor was active in the background. So what it asks you now is how many viewports would you like? You can have two, three, four, however many you want. Um, so I'm going to have four, so if you just type in four, hit return, you'll notice anything that's underlined is asking you for some kind of command. So what I want to do is actually fit it in the drawing border, which can be set to the size of your sheet in your options. So if I just hit F and hit return, you'll notice it puts four viewports in straight away. You can, you can double click and you'll notice now I can just zoom in and you can adjust the viewport to the item that you want to see. In this example, we've actually got the template inside the model space, which isn't really how you do it. You tend to have this in the, in the drawing layout rather than within the model view, which they've got here. you notice you can double click on the scroll wheel, just like in SOLIDWORKS it zooms to fit. If you want to quickly toggle between each viewport, if you hold down the control key and hit R, it just cycles you through each one. So there's a few little productivity gains on there. 